Hi everyone, um, welcome to another episode of 30 day lead code challenge. Um, so today's question is, uh, you're given an array of non-negative integers and you are initially positioned at the first index of the array. Now each element represents the maximum jump length at that position. Um, determine if you are able to reach last index. Okay. So let's understand it through an example. So let's say first example is two, three, one, one, four. Now in this type of questions, I generally like to create uh, or else say this won't be a better idea. So I'll, I'll write the indexes first. I'll write zero, one, two, three, four. So there are the array length is five. So there are indexes from zero to four. Now it says we always are positioned at the first index, right? So I am at this index. Now what it says is you can each element on the array represents the maximum jump you can take from that position. So this means that if I am at index zero, I can I either jump on index one or jump one to index two, right? So in this case, I can either jump here and I can jump here. That means both these cells are available. So for me, three and one cells both are available. So now I can decide one way would be that I jump from cell number zero to cell number two, right? And then at cell number two, it says I can jump one more length, which is three. So I jump here. So one way would be I jump from zero to two, then one is here and then the length is four here. So, and then I would jump from two to three and then it says one here at third position. That means I can jump a length of one more. So that is, I can reach the fourth index, which is my final index. So I can return to, right? Yeah, another, another route that I can take is I can jump from two directly to index one now this one index is they have length three. So that is two, one, two, three. So I can directly jump from here to index four. In this case also I'll get true, right? Similarly, let's try to understand the other problem in which in the answer is false. So three, two, one, zero, four. Okay. So let me take a new sheet. Um, so three, two, Okay, so three, two, one, zero, four. So our indexes are, these are the values. So indexes are one, zero, one, two, three, and four, right? Now what we can do is, I am at index uh, zero, so I can jump a length of three. So one way I can go directly to this index, but at its index, my length is zero, so I can't go, go, go anywhere beyond this index. Another way would be I jump from three to two and then add from two to length of one, three. But again, I am stuck here. Similarly, another approach would be zero to one and then I can take a jump of two, which would be again, stop me at zero. The last one would be I take zero to one of, and then because it's of length two, I can take a jump here as well. And then from here, the length of one, I jump here, but again, I'm stuck here. So in this case, my answer will be false because I'm not able to reach the last index. Now let's see how we can solve it in an efficient way. Uh, the idea here would be, let me take the example one, two, three, one, one, four, one, to understand the approach. One, one, four. Okay. So what we can do here is um, I can take a variable let's say max jump index this is initialized to zero like because I'm starting from zero so I do a for loop on this array i equal to zero i less than n n being length of array I'm speaking while I'm writing because my handwriting is bad. 
so yeah and then uh, once I run a for loop what I can do here is if at any point I see that my index at which I am is greater than the max jump index so max jump index is taking care of uh, uh, the value which we can jump at the max value right so let's say because i am initially i am at zero so at zero what i check here this check would be obviously false so i'm just returning false here because if i can't make a jump to that index uh, i would just return it false right like like let's say my in my max possible like 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 how we saw sorry like how we saw in the previous example here the max jump i can take is still index 3 and if i have reached index 4 in my for loop then i sorry then i know that i can't reach the beyond this or at this so i would rather return false right now like short circuit right now instead of looping the uh, on the other other half of the array now if this condition is not met how can i update my maximum uh, jump index i'll do something like this which is i'll call this array a uh, so what i can do i can take a max of max jump index plus a of i so or i can just keep max jump index to whatever value it is right so this will be my for loop now what is happening here is let's go loop by loop so initially my i is zero let me create it so i is zero mj i is zero this if condition doesn't get true now what i check here is if new value of mj would be i am at this step so max jump index is 0 plus a of i so maximum i can jump from here is plus 2 which is at index 2 so my next value now updated max jump index becomes 2 right now i becomes 1 now i becomes 1 so what happens here is now i is here at 3 right now here what i check that i is not greater than max jump index like i the, like this cell is reachable so i can make use of it so what i do here is i take this value and i update my max jump index so max jump index and now can become i am at index a of i is uh, oh wait it should be okay it should be my bad it should be i yes this is wrong because this according to this calculation what i am doing is i am adding max uh, a of i to here basically i have to i can max i can jump is from where i am standing right which is at i so i is one right let me write the indexes here one two three four so i is one one plus a of i is three so max jump index now gets updated to four right awesome so this is one one plus now max jump index is this now i becomes two now at two again i is not less than i is not greater than max jump index so two now at here what i do is um i is at two two plus one three max i can reach three but my max jump index is already at max so i don't update it right and similarly at the last step it's at four so what happens if this for loop completes at the end we return two if any invalid condition happens this will take care of it like we saw in the previous example like max jump index will stay at three and my i won't uh, i will move forward than that so we short circuit let's look at the code uh, it might give you a better understanding so i will try to use java this time uh, on recommendations from one of my on requests from one of my uh, regular viewers so um, okay so intn is nums of length and then int max jump index is zero for int 
plus okay and now what I do here is if greater than index at any point return false return true at the end and then max jump index is equal to uh, I think Java is Right, and then let's run the code and see. It should be true here. Okay, I guess it's without the bracket. Awesome. Now let's submit it and see. Awesome. So it was a pretty easy question, right? I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if so, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thanks, everyone.